Today we are working on Excel lesson two, the second lesson, cutting, copying, and pasting data. This is what you should have open. Step one says navigate to your My Projects folder and save the current workbook as My Office Expenses. So I'm going to click File, Save As. I'm in my starter files now. Make sure you go to My Projects and make this say My Office Expenses and save. Mark is answered. Go to the next one. Suppose that another expense item needs to be added to the spreadsheet. To do this, you can simply enter the data into the blank cells immediately below the existing data. Enter the following new data. Cell should be A12. So click A12 and make that utilities. B12 and I press the tab key to get there. Should be 325. C4. Should be February. D4. I spelled February wrong. D4 is March. Mark is answered. Go to the next step. Suppose some expenses stay the same every month. These values can be copied to other cells. Click cell B5. And drag the mouse down to select cell B8. On the Home tab in the Clipboard group, click Copy. see this got the little marching ants around the outside that indicates you've copied your contents to the clipboard so then select cell C5 and in the clipboard group click paste mark is answered go to the next one notice how Excel has copied the data from all marked cells into the correct place even though you only chose one cell Excel will automatically replace the contents of the existing cells with the copied entries. You can also press enter to paste the entries into this location. However, this technique will only allow you to paste the entry once and then will then automatically turn off the marquee. So select cell D5 and press enter. I think it was supposed to, have, let's do this, let me copy this again, select cell D5, press enter, and it pasted everything there. So if yours didn't paste like mine didn't, just copy it again and then click in that cell and press enter. Mark that as answer, go to the next one. Alternatively, you can continue using the paste button to paste these values into as many destination cells as you want, as long as the marquee appears around the cells being copied. So select cells B9 to B12, so B9 to B12, click copy, select C9 to D12, C9 to D12, click paste, select E9, and click paste. Select F9, click paste, select G9, and paste. So you see that it pasted all that because this was still had the marching ants around it. Step 6 says click undo in the quick access toolbar and then click it three more times. So click undo and then one, two, three more times. Mark is answered. Enter the following new data. Cell C9 should be 95, C10 150, C11 325, C12 350, D9 should be 175, D10 160, 
D lemon, 300, and D12, 300. The completed worksheet should look similar to the following. So you should be able to compare yours and it should look like this. Mine looks the same, so I think I did it all right. Save the workbook, so I'm just going to click File and then Save. Mark as answered. Submit. Submit results. Six green checks. That's what we got. Congratulations, you just completed cutting, copying, and pasting data.